Hello, my name is Amy Ecker and welcome to my channel. So today is going to be, I believe, my last video on some of the holiday bits for you to purchase right before the holiday. So let's get into some good, bad, and indifferent, shall we? Hmm. Let's see where you should spend your money in the last minute bits of crazy holiday shopping if you hadn't bought these already or you were thinking about buying them but waiting to see is there going to be a better sale seems like you know you start out with black friday sales and cyber monday and then there's well we'll give you another 20 percent off today and it just seems to go all the way up to christmas so you just never know which sale is going to be the sale of the century they keep rolling us in in fact, I got rolled in on Black Friday and Cyber Monday on a few items, and that'll be in another video. All right, so I'm going to start with some of my thoughts on this Too Faced package. This Too Faced package goes for roughly $48. It does have some extra bits in it. I believe it is a... I can't remember what the extra bits are. I think it was a little bitty mascara, Too Faced mascara, and something else. The second item is escaping me, so I'll put it in the little link below. This goes for $48. And boy, if you bought this, go ahead and return it. It's not worth a gift. Okay, let me, and I'll insert some pictures right now. So let me tell you about this little one that was absolutely disappointing. These are okay. So this is the okay part of the palette. Um, you can kind of see where I've scraped trying to, I thought maybe there was just a cover on top because sometimes highlighters that are soft have kind of a cover on top that you got to get rid of that so it doesn't break in shipping and then put it on. I love these colors. I did not like the performance whatsoever. This barely looked like it was even there. So the next piece is these two eyeshadow groupings. And I'll tell you, when I looked at them online, the reason why I purchased them was for these different eyeshadow colorings and groupings. I just thought they were absolutely beautiful. Now, I will say the packaging is why I buy stuff off Too Faced a lot of times because they have the cutest packaging. But with some of the shimmers, I went ahead and used my finger instead of a brush because the brush didn't do anything. So, okay, I've gotten to the point where I'm just accepting that some shimmers, need to, you need to use your finger to get maximum payout. Fine. I'll just suck it up, buttercup, and, and do that. Well, I did. And by the time I was ready to film the video on this one, the shimmer was gone. Like, I don't know, I had it on less than an hour by the time I finished everything, and it was gone. So I thought, well, maybe that's just me. So I used a different shimmer another day. Same thing. It may have lasted an hour or two. Gone. The thing with these eyeshadows, they are patchy as heck. Like, I couldn't get them to go on and blend well, and was just absolutely disappointed in this. So this is the third year I've been buying Tarte's holiday packages, and let me see, I'm going to bet this one's built, done out of, out of country. It is. This is made in China. Be very careful if you see Tarte's packaging made in China. Those eyeshadows are not as good as what they do elsewhere. So this is, again, my third year buying Tarte's holiday packages because I just love how they do their, their marketing. It is so pretty. But this will be my third and final year until I see some other YouTubers use the holiday packages and say that they're good. Because all in all, you're going to throw $48 away whether you buy the packages for yourself or if you go ahead and um, give it as a gift. I mean, yes, it looks pretty as a gift, don't get me wrong, but when the person that you're giving it to goes to use it, it's a total letdown. So why spend $48 for a friend or yourself just to be let down? Okay, now let's talk about this bad boy. So now we're going to go to Tarte. Tarte has this real pretty box. I did another video on another one of Tarte's. It's just the large pineapple. So this one goes very well with the pineapple theme pineapple of mine eye my eye something like that i'll put the price point for this one below because it's escaping my mind a lot's escaping my mind today 
So the eye look that I created today is actually out of this one. I've been traveling again and so I wanted to see how does this perform. Now this one has the Man Eater eyeliner and I left the Man Eater eyeliner downstairs. But I like how this packaging already is better, superior. You have the extra bits right here. It folds up like a Christmas present and you're ready to go. So I have been taking this, like I said, um, with me while I've been traveling because I wanted to see how does this work. I really like this one far better for a couple reasons. A, you have your eyeliner, your mascara, and your lippy. If you like the lippy color, this one really wasn't for me. So that was the downside. I mean, it was an okay color. I used it while I was gone because I didn't want to take a bunch of lippies with me. But it wasn't one that I was like, ooh, I've got to have this forever and ever. It was okay. It was okay. So I'll actually pull that out and show you what color it is. I am not wearing the lippy today from this package. Um, this one is kind of a brownish color maybe a little on the mauve side i don't know i'm probably not describing it very very well but it's called naughty nude and i mean it, it has a little bit of a darker color than what i'm wearing right now which is okay um i do like the highlighter and let's see out of this today i i do have on this location really really like this one here this one's good just for a bit of a pop of color for the apples of your cheeks. So we'll just add that little pop of color right there. Um, and it, it's just really pretty. As far as the highlighter goes, again, very, very pretty. It goes on, it's not an in-your-face highlighter, which, you know, is good for day wear. So while I was, you know, doing meetings outside of or traveling in a different state, this made it really nice to be able to just use. And I haven't done a contour today, which I know is absolutely backwards. So we're going to pick up Beach Pod. We're going to go, we're going to contour a little late. How about that? And this one is a really nice color as far as contouring goes. So... Again, as I was traveling, I really like this. This color kept kind of, I when I first saw it, my eye was drawn to it. Don't know if it's because it's in the middle or because it's just such a pretty and different brownish tone. Really, really love this color upgrade. So I've used um, this in several different eye looks, which I'll pop in here. Um, I really did more of a light eye with the the palette with the exception of tonight i went ahead and used some of this um, hammock we have some cave dive i started out with some sarong memories i did not put anything up underneath my brow bone now that i think of it so we're going to pick up some idol and pop that in up underneath the eyebrows that was the only downside to this palette for me was there was only one really light color to go up underneath your brow bone. The good piece is that color really matches with everything. I am excited about trying these greens. I have not tried these yet and I have not tried this um, kind of army green. But I have used several different um, colors, color combinations from this palette. This uh, Rum Runner, stunning. Um, what was the other one? I really like this Hidden Gem. I've used that several times. I've used Refill several times. I'm trying to think of what else. I've used Aloha. Um, I am looking forward to doing some purple. So I haven't finished testing this, but I have used it several times when I've traveled. And absolutely having a face in this beautiful box has been wonderful. So to say which one is the better buy, by far this is the better buy. If you bought this one, really and truthfully, I'd go ahead and return it if you got this as a gift because the person that's going to get this is going to be, they're going to be thankful you gave them a gift. Don't get me wrong. They will be thankful you gave them such a beautiful gift. But as far as performance goes, this is, this is, as far as performance goes on this, it is the, the normal Tarte 
standard eyeshadows. You have great blendability. They last a long time. This is just the much better buy. So anyways, just want to give you kind of my last thoughts on some of the stuff I bought for Christmas. I think I started buying this stuff back in October whenever they first started releasing it because I wanted time to play with all of them. And here we are getting closer to Christmas and I haven't finished my video because I've been using them several times instead of just a first impression. So anyways, I hope that helps you with your purchasing power. You know, which one is better? Which one should you spend your money on? Which one would you enjoy? Again, these are all my opinions. I have purchased both products myself and it's just kind of my opinions using these two different brands over and over again so that I could get comfortable with my review. With that being said, I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful Christmas holiday season. I hope you take time to spend with the family. Um, I also hope you get some alone time to have a bit of peace um, because sometimes the holidays and all the hustle and bustle can be quite overwhelming. And um, sometimes it's just nice to carve out a little piece of time for yourself. And that is okay. So anyways, I'd love to hear what your comments or thoughts are. If you bought either of these packages, please comment below. I'd really like to see what you have to say about both products or one or, or the other in case you've purchased them. Any other thoughts, questions, concerns, put those below. And yeah, that'll wrap up this video. So as always, you have a choice. Make it a great one. And I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Until next time.